We're here for day two of SEMA. I'm, uh, I'm really feeling yesterday, uh, but excited to go see some more cars. Uh, we're in the outside area right now, checking some stuff up. But yeah, I think we're gonna go check out this Firebird. And then uh, we'll probably skip all the bro dozers back here and uh, go straight to the muscle cars. But yeah, day two of SEMA. I know this is like a build on YouTube, I haven't really followed it too much. Got a little bit of a, I think that's a drift break. I don't really know how it's going to work with, with the four wheels in the back, but very unique, cool build. That wing is pretty badass. The struts are cool. The carbon fiber strut. Man, I don't know what this is really for, but it is pretty badass. Yeah, check out these funky muscles. This is your original style. That's the flow path. It's weird because usually the most you think of a lot more so. It makes sense to use the, the case as part of the muffler. Yeah, yeah. That's funky though, right? It can all swirl up. It's a smoother flow. Really cool. So that, I wonder how they sound. Look at this one. It just has that thing in the middle. This. So these guys, another one of these electric guys, um, but this is kind of cool because they swapped one into a C10. Um, it's kind of funky because you got a front, you got a front in your in your old truck, but yeah, that's kind of your engine. I don't know. That doesn't really look like it just looks like a computer to me. Or the car <laughs> stuff, but it's pretty cool. Twin turbo dog. Badass. That's pretty nuts. What do you guys think? Are, uh, are donks cool or not? I like them. I like some of them. I don't like all of them, but that thing is awesome. I'm pretty sure this is a Plymouth satellite, but... It has been Tesla swap. It's kind of weird not seeing an engine in there. It's got a cooler suspension, but yeah, it seems like everything this year is uh, shooting towards going electric. It's kind of disappointing, but I guess it's inevitable. What's kind of funky is it has two LT4s going over 460, which I think is kind of a bit of a mistake, but I don't know. Very funky car. Really weird. I don't know. It's like a something from the future, I guess, but I don't know. It's, at least it's got two LTs instead of an electric engine or motor. I just wanted to see this thing. Uh, it's the freaking dog. I was loving it. watching them build this thing. Um, I think it's a 532 cubic inch um, motor for Ethan engines, blower, and uh, massive beautiful wheels. And I don't know, I, I want to see them race it. I've seen them do burnouts in it, but they got to race it soon. This thing is awesome. Cool. Built by Minneapolis Garage. I think it's a 40s Ford. But it's got all wide bodied and uh, kind of race car. Kind of cool. Usually. People leave original, but I don't know. Very unique, very cool. Alright, guys, we are at SEMA Battle of the Builders. Gonna be checking some of the builds out. Um, I got two that I really like already. Um, 
This S10 is awesome. Little single turbo LS. The shit, everything. I don't know, just mini truck stuff. Oh, I like the yeah, carbon fiber bag. But yes, same body. It's cool, I like it. Mini truck stuff. Um, and I also, I love the color of this Camel, man. It is beautiful. Uh, I think those are the, work, the bumpers from work over at Anzalotto. Um, man, this color, I wish, this is what I wanted the color of my Chevelle to really be. This is beautiful. Uh, it's got, it's all caged up. I think that's an 850 cert cage and pro charge that last, so can't beat it. These wheels are badass. Yeah. What do you do to the hood? The scoops? Yeah, that's taking out original, right? Does he still do? He cleaned up and took those bumpers. These grills different. Does he still have the 12-cent, right? I don't know. It might be a six-cylinder. It's a six-cylinder car. As a matter of fact, the six-cylinders are worth way more than the 12 cylinder both cylinders came out later. Yeah. They didn't necessarily have more power and they had big rubber bumpers and stuff. Uh, so they're uglier. Yeah. They're really I'm in love with this Impala. Oh man, I like how they extended the body and Shit Fuse did an yeah. awesome job on this car. This thing is badass. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Just saw this tester. It's pretty sweet. It's got a Hellcat engine in it. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I love the color. There's a lot of not a great stuff here at SEMA. Look at this. I got a little low ready, but I'll put it up with the RC cars. Retailing for $600. Can we get drunk, bro? That is sweet. One day. One day, my Chevelle is going to be this nice. The stance on this thing is amazing. I need to put my Chevelle on 20s already. It's like, I think that's, is that turbocharged and supercharged? I don't know, maybe it's just turbocharged with a funky manifold. Dude, check out this Chevelle. That bumper is badass. Little scoops. That is, it looks really good. I, maybe I'll do something like that for the, uh, for the turbos if I have a turbo mine, but this Chevelle is... Oh wow, that spoiler is cool too. I usually don't like the spoilers in the but this thing is sick. This thing is beautiful, man. It's a charger, right? Yeah. 68. 68. So the 68 charger has wide body fenders. And the cool part is, it's mid-engine. It's got like a Hellcat up in it. The rear quarter panel's been widened on this thing too. It's kind of got like a Coke bottle shape. But it's just crazy seeing that it's main engine. I can't imagine. It must get hot as hell. I forgot to wait. I forgot to uh, film an outro over at SEMA. It is currently 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to be done editing this and then rendering it. Um, sorry about the audio. It's just really hard to record at SEMA and I have no uh, past experience. so. I think what I've learned is I need a, like a lapel mic, something that's close to me that's gonna kill a lot of sound. But yeah, SEMA's been awesome so far. Um, a lot of crazy builds, like that uh, that Hellcat powered uh, duster and stuff like that. But I don't know, I, I kind of here to pose a question, have like a little bit of a conversation with you guys. Um, it seems like they are really pushing electric. Um, Chevy came out with the Project X with the electric motor in it. Ford's got that F100 with an electric motor in it. Um, there's a bunch of companies there too that have like electric powered hot rods. And I don't know, man, what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna say they suck and they don't like it. I mean, that's kind of been the response for Project X, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys open to putting an electric motor in your hot rod? Or is that, I don't know, to me that's what hot rodding is. You need, you need the V8, you need the sound. But yeah, are you open to uh, are you open to having an electric motor in your hot rod? And like, what is it gonna take for? I guess people to start swapping them into hot rods. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever do that. Not really my style. Um, but yeah, it just seems like this year, it's all about a lot of Ford Broncos, a lot of C8 Corvettes, 
and just electric motors. It just seems that's what they're pushing. There isn't like, there's a lot of Hellcat swap stuff too, but it doesn't really, I don't know, there isn't anything like super crazy. Like I remember a couple years ago seeing that, uh, I think it's a Hellcat, Hellcat powered smart car and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, what do you guys, let me know what you guys think or what you would do and if you think EV is the future or at some point we'll go back to uh, maybe some sort of gas that uh, burns clean. But yeah, kind of, kind of sucks that how hard they're pushing this electric stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to record tomorrow. Tomorrow will be my last day at SEMA. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys